Um, the Chris Tanev situation, people are lighting up our chat about it, so we should probably talk about it. He blocks a shot, and then this image comes out today from uh, the Edmonton International Airport. That would be right in between the Chili's and yeah. the Starbucks. Yeah, so, which is interesting that they don't fly private. Uh, no, they do, but you still leave out of that terminal. Really? You know? Interesting. Um, so anyways, Chris Tanev's in a walking boot is the main point of this, not what he was eating for breakfast. <laughs> this is significant if he's out, DJ. Like, the Stars are already running four and a half defensemen in this series. To have no Tanev, that means Ryan Suter all of a sudden has to start playing more. He stinks. You never want to, whatever, root for, pray for injuries, whatever. The point is, it's a massive swing to Edmonton if this dude's not playing. Yeah, and... Honestly, I am an oil man. I'm optimistic and everything. I for sure am, am skewed in favor of Edmonton. But I just knew at 4-2 entering the third period when Chris Tanev wasn't on the ice. Okay, the Oilers have won this game. I thought the Oilers would maybe put the pedal to the metal a little more offensively in the first 10 minutes of the third period. But without Chris Tanev, I, I just thought the the Stars' hopes were were dashed because they're down to five defensemen. As you said, really more like, four and a half defensemen at this point. Tanev is fourth on the stars in time on ice this postseason. He's second on the stars in shorthanded time on ice this postseason. You, Tyler, had a great appearance today on uh, What Chaos, as you both are always welcome. And you raised the point that at some point, the bill's going to come due for the uh, Oilers power play. They're going to actually get going and they're going to convert on chances. And without Chris Tanev, that is a scary proposition for, for Dallas to be down one of your top penalty killers against the numbers may be what the numbers may be, but we all know the greatest power play unit ever. So if I'm a Stars fan, I don't know if I am demoralized from a intangible standpoint, and that's where I'm jealous of the Stars in Pete DeBoer that even when they blow a 2 nothing lead, I don't think they feel as, oh no, what did we just do? As say the Oilers, or in fairness, most teams would. I think that they do have that calmness about them. However, we are in a series where depth was supposed to win this win for Dallas. The Oilers' depth has been better than Dallas's depth has been. That is astonishing to me. You have players entering the top six that did not play in the previous game and making an impact and scoring a goal like Ryan McLeod did. You have Philip Broberg jumping it. The Oilers have more goal scorers this series than the Stars. I would bet, I would have bet my life going in that the scoring would be more spread out from Dallas than for Edmonton. So 12 goals apiece on each side and eight are coming from Edmonton. That's amazing to me. That's, that, that's very surprising. And then when you take away a legitimate key piece, because like Tanev ain't depth, baby. Tanev is a real difference maker. Losing that, man, again, I, if I'm the stars, I don't worry because I don't think the stars are the worrying type. But that is a that is a real, real, real blow. Massive, man. Absolutely massive. And now this series shifts back to Dallas, where Dallas is below 500 in these playoffs. Like again, yeah. one it's such a roller coaster, but one game I flip from. I don't know how you beat this Dallas team three or four. And now I'm sitting here and you can't look ahead. That is dangerous. We've done that already in the series, but like you can beat Dallas at home. You've played them really well at American airlines so far in this series. I Dude, think even in that game too, they were pretty they were, lucky. I thought to they lose. were good. Yep. What's up nation citizens. If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers nation, YouTube podcast, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation and you don't want to miss any of it so hammer that subscribe button.